Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is about that time. We just had the Hero Upgrade Pack last week in FC25, which means the Icon Upgrade Pack, the first of the year, shouldn't be far. There's a lot of buzz right now in the community about that SBC, a Max 87 Icon Pack potentially coming as soon as tomorrow, and people are investing in it already. But should we be investing? And what else is it going to do to the market? Because like the Hero Pack did last week, it has a very high potential of dropping other player prices as a Icon Pack has so much high as the first time to maybe pack an icon from an SBC and add them to your squad. So we have to talk about all of that today, plus a gameplay patch that EA talked about yesterday and a future evolution that they also teased as well. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Now, Monday's content yesterday, where we will start off, really wasn't that big of a day, and that's becoming a trend on Mondays. We have a player SBC, the upgrade packs, and that's kind of it. And that is what we had yesterday, starting off with... A very cheap and honestly not too bad of a player SBC just because of the price of the SBC. Now, it's really weird. This Alex Iwobi, EA required not one, not two, but three team of the weeks inside of this SBC. But the squad ratings are very low. 81, 82, and an 83 rated squad. Now, I made the point yesterday on Twitter, and this is how I ended up doing the SBC. I had so many 81s and 2s and a couple 83s in my duplicate storage that this SBC was just completed for me literally through duplicate storage. Of course, the informs I did have to put in, but I had untradeable in forums that were 80 rated literally just the cheapest ones and they're untradeable so i'm not losing out on any market value there and that's why i did this sbc because i could do 90 percent of it through my duplicate storage i think that's a really good thing to remember as we have that new feature inside of fc25 that a lot of those players that i was sending to my club as duplicates you know going to the storage almost seeming like they're being sent to the club that i was not putting them into other sbcs and i was just kind of stacking them up and well that duplicate storage as we get through on the year is really going to be useful for 85s, 86s, 87s. But right now, with lower rateds being more prevalent, those are kind of what's filling up the duplicate storage. So I wanted to mention that. But since EA required three Team of the Weeks, did we see a Team League rise? It was a very slight rise, guys. I think they maybe went up to like 11, 12,000 coins. They are still selling for about 10K. But that's not the type of SBC that's going to make player prices rise in terms of Team of the Weeks a lot. It's going to be the continual requirements over time especially for middle to high tier SBCs, it's going to make team of the weeks rise. So yeah, there was a little bit of a rise yesterday on them, but not much, but that's not the type of rise that we're looking for, right? For you, for you guys that are investing in team of the week still and putting them in your club or on your transfer list, if you have extra ones, we're still holding for when team of the weeks hit that 20, 25, 30 K mark, which they're undoubtedly going to do at some point this year. But it was really interesting to see why EA did that. Maybe it was just a test to see like, Oh, are people willing to do this by putting in team of the weeks? So if, we do really low rated squads or is a team of the week requirement a big barrier to entry inside of one of these SBCs? so that was pretty interesting but the will be card itself just to get a little bit of screen time on this card here for a second it's not a bad card the thing that i wish ea had with this was a roll plus or plus plus in the center mid position i think a lot of people are doing this SBC because it links to a domitriori 100 understand why not a bad card at all just Again, the price suits the card because it's not super crazy. No playstyle plus, maybe evolvable in the future. A four-star weak foot upgrade would be very, very nice. So not bad, but it's cheap, so we can't really complain too much for the card that we get out of that either. Now, we had another SBC yesterday, Monday, upgrade pack day, right? The 78 plus double upgrade, which again requires six rares. These upgrade SBCs, apart from the regular gold upgrade that we always have, are requiring a lot of of rares, which is a little bit of a problem because it makes it harder to do um, the SBC, in my opinion. I still think that gold upgrades, if you really want to open some upgrade packs, unless you have a bunch of rares that are like 80 rated and below in your duplicate storage, I would just do the regular gold upgrades if you have common golds because it's going to give you two 78 rated players most of the time anyway, in my experience from doing these. So these, you know what, they're there. I did five of them yesterday just to test and I did get an 85 Openda. But I didn't think that was that great of a pull, to be completely honest. And so I'm probably going to keep doing regular gold upgrades unless there's other uh, cards I need to rinse through that in terms of the rare. So not super big there. And that was kind of all the content yesterday, guys, to be completely honest. Now, I will say we did have a big piece of news from EA Sports with the title update number three. Now, this was tweeted out before the content drop yesterday, but it's not being released 
on all versions. As you can note here, it says it'll be available for PS4 and Xbox One, aka old gen. And in the pitch notes as well, which is, this is like a massive update, guys. There are so many changes in here. A lot of them very small, very minute, but other ones seem very big. This is only an old gen patch. Now, we would imagine that this is going to be pushed out to new gen consoles and PC as well, but at least for right now, this is only for old gen, which is very interesting. The first update or the last update that we had went live on PC first. Remember the one that fixed the menus and made them more responsive? That went live on PC first, and then it came out on consoles. Maybe, I don't know, EA... It's easier for them to code it for this way first and then for the other consoles. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but I would still expect it to be out on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. The new gen consoles, I think, will still get this same update. They're just not getting it first like old gen is. Now, this is the big news of, of this, right? Greatly reduced the potential accuracy of Trivellas. The thing that I don't like about this is greatly reduced. I thought Trivellas were overpowered, but not super crazy overpowered that they need to greatly reduce them. I think a regular reduction would have been fine here. We'll see how that plays out. This is the one that, of course, everybody's excited for. Greatly increased the width of the defensive line for five defender formations, which, of course, should make it easier to break those down instead of being stuck with nowhere to go with five defenders, maybe eight defenders. It's like a 5-3 whatever formation um, in that box. It's going to be easier to break down with it being a bit wider. So hopefully that means that's a better gameplay experience for when you come up against five back formations and makes them more balanced in the run of play. And then, of course, in here, reduced the potential accuracy of driven passes. I myself do a good amount of driven passes, especially to get from the defense up to the midfield with like a center back to a midfielder. So I'm a little bummed to see this because I didn't think they were super overpowered, but uh, maybe they were. Now, this stuff is really, really interesting. And if you want to watch some more in-depth on this, I would definitely check out a guy like Inception doing a gameplay video, deep diving into these tactics who has a lot more experience experience on them but this is a big dub a lot of the ai player movement has been updated increased frequency of runs for attacking players i think this is the biggest thing that i was having issues with my strikers would somehow veer off of an inside run running into the box as the players running down the wing for like a pass across they would just bolt out towards the midfield i saw a couple of people tweeting about it as well so i think this is a nice update we'll see we'll have to see um of course you would love it if these were working straight away from the beginning of the game but um yeah this is a really really big update there's a lot of things in here inside of ultimate team as well a lot of stability issues a lot of really small things like the sbc storage uh, it's going to work better because it's been glitched so far or it's kind of difficult to navigate into it and then also other stability issues they said but this is like a whole reading paragraph like get a cup of coffee sit down and read it for 20 minutes to try to digest this whole title update but uh, it says it'll be available soon so there's not an actual specific date on that but that is of course it's not in fact impacting the market at all like Trivella plus players aren't really dropping because of the Trivella nerf or anything like that that was there's not as much of a direct correlation there with the other live tuning update that they had but that is a major major gameplay update and it will be coming here very soon, I would assume, to all consoles. Now, EA also posted this yesterday about another club membership Evo reward. Play by November 1st and get this new evolution, which is inspired by Jude Bellingham, which is going to give out playstyle plus relentless, playmaker plus plus role, as well as skill move, pace, weak foot shooting, defending, and more upgrades. So, that um, sounds like a really good Evo. I hope it's free. I mean, if we're going on how the other club member reward Evo was priced, that one was also free. Remember the right back Evo? I still have not done this one yet, but this is a free evolution. You would hopefully uh, think that this one's going to be free as well. And it says that you have to log in from November 1st, or is it before November 1st? Play by November 1st and get. But on November 1st, the date, that is when this Evo will go live. So that's when we expect to see it dropped in the game. Uh, I guess it's just called a club membership Evo as well by cover star Jude Bellingham. And then some other things are inside of here as well. It's all a part of that new loyalty program that they are starting this year at 24 and at the end of 24 and the start of 25 is club membership rewards. So that was very interesting. And just want to touch on this really quick as well. Fabrizio Romano tweeted about the new Pepsi and FC 25 rewards that you can get. The interesting thing about this is last year it was just kits, right? And stuff like that. As you can see here, it's kits, but it's also SP. And I believe it is 400 SP per 
code that you get. I think there's a, a maximum of 10 codes per account, but unfortunately, this is only in Europe, I believe, especially like in the UK. These uh, you have to grab a Pepsi. I think it's a certain kind of Pepsi. Pepsi Zero Sugar has these codes on them. I think it's bottles, um, maybe cans as well. They show here in, in the little graphic, but you can get codes on those and then redeem for the kits and the SP. Kind of interesting. Uh, I guess be on the lookout for that if that interests you, but it obviously won't interest me or help me because I'm in the US. So interesting that that is kind of region locked. Uh, we mentioned the Uber Eats pack before. That's a Europe region sort of promo that's going on as well over there. I don't think I've seen any of those packs in the game, but interesting how EA is incorporating a few more of these like hashtag ad type of things uh, into the game this year. Now, let's talk about the market as a part of yesterday's content as well. Really, again, Mondays and Tuesdays have become slow days for flips. I know I got that Kelly Smith in the video last night at 710. That was a good flip. I bought Essien at 660 on stream, sold it for 719. Shromany was a decent flip. Kessler made a couple thousand coins on. And I still have a Del Piero who I bought for 1.04. I was stretching on this flip. I was literally just bored trying to make something happen, trying to buy a card like to make a few coins. And this one really is not going to end up being a good flip. I might make 10, 15, 20K. And I still have one Kessler left as well. So the Essien and the Smith and the Shroomany flips were not bad, but that kind of characterizes the market. Like, yes, you look at the market index and you see this huge bounce, but that's not on the meta types of cards. A lot of most meta players are in the same realm that they were, maybe even up just a few thousand more coins, but it wasn't like yesterday was a crazy, crazy rise. You see VVD had a nice rise in the morning, but he kind of came back down, right? He was 330 uh, early Monday morning, went to 348, and now we still in the 340 range. So you did see a bit of a market like increase still on some of those meta gold cards, some of your auto pack specials and the current impacts promo team as well moved up just a shade in some cards. But we're entering that same weekly trend that we see that the sell time for a lot of teams, especially if you bought a team on the weekend, maybe it was a Thursday rivals rewards last week or maybe it was on Friday or Saturday or even Sunday. If you've got a team that you're worried about losing some value on, especially if it includes gold cards, middle to low tier gold cards, like 150,000 coins and below, guy like Usman Dembele, Rodrigo, Araujo, De Young, Nico Williams, Kyle Walker, I would look to sell those cards maybe today, especially with some of the other stuff related to that icon pack we're going to talk about in today's video. Might be a smart idea to take the money on some of that. Now, I mentioned, you look at the graph, you see, wow, Nate, what has gone up like crazy? SBC fodder has gone up like crazy. Let's talk about the rumors, guys. Let's talk about, I wouldn't even call it a leak. It's really just a rumor at this stage because there's been nothing concrete, but just expectation and knowing how EA like to run the content schedule on this game. So let's talk about it, right? We had the max 87 base hero upgrade last week on Wednesday. Of course, it is expiring tomorrow on Wednesday once again. And that has got a lot of people expecting the max 87 base icon to replace it. Now, why would this be expected? Well, we're in the middle of October and we usually get our first icon upgrade pack SBC or icon player SBC around this time of the year each year. And if history repeats itself, which it most often times does in FC ultimate team last year, the first icon upgrade came out one week after we had the first Hero upgrade, right? You take a look at this max 87 icon upgrade. It was 156,000 coins to complete. And a lot of people are investing in fodder right now because of this buzz that has been created. A lot of people are tweeting about it. Now, guys, I want to say this as well. This is really not a leak. It's a rumor. Could EA do things differently this year? Absolutely. Now, we noticed last week we were waiting to see a new pack added to the code. And I think it was on Tuesday that we had a max 87 base hero, or maybe it was even Wednesday morning. The actual pack was added to the code. So even though there's already a max 87 base hero that was in the game for weekend league rewards, they had to add a new pack to the code. I would expect the same thing for an icon pack that would have to be added to the code too. And I don't believe so far that it has been added in the last day or two. So it's not a leak that the SBC would be coming, but it's really starting to be talked about a lot on Twitter and a lot of people are investing. There's been huge market impacts because of this rumors and stuff and the expectations that are going around. So we need we needed to talk about it today 100% because of how much it's making fodder move. Now, speaking of fodder, what did this 87 max icon upgrade cost last year? It was cheaper than I thought. An 85 and an 86 rated squad was 
it. Now, if we look at the 87 base hero from this year, it was also an 85 and an 86 rated squad, and which was a little more expensive than last year. Remember last week we talked about that? So if they're going a little more expensive this year, maybe it's an 85 and an 87 or 86, 86. Who knows how they'll go about it this year for a max 87 icon. But in that regard, what sort of fodder do we want to be investing in? Where's my fodder page? I just had it open. There it is. Fodder, guys, is going up mostly on the mid to top tier. 87s and above are the cards that are going up the most. Like 87s right now are 15,000 coins. And yesterday they were 13K. Sunday they were 12K during squad battle rewards. And now they're almost 15,000 coins. 88 rated. Like Messi is 20,000, almost 21,000 coins. He was 18K on late um, Monday. And on Sunday he was even... Okay, he was not even 17k. He was still 18k then. But you see this big rise on like all of fodder. Fodder was up big. And that is again what was pushing the market index up so much yesterday. But it was a lot of the high tier. It was a lot of the 87s, 8s, and 89s. But if it's an 85 and an 86 rated requirement that we're maybe going to be investing for, should we really be investing in the 88s and the 89s? Potentially not. Now, again, we don't know how EA is going to price the SBC. It's always hyped to have the first icon upgrade pack of the year, 100%, because even though it's max 87, you still have a lot of great players in it, right? Like this Fernando Torres, Zola, Essien, Zambrata, Makalele. And to be completely honest, it's such an early stage still in the game that even an icon who's like 200K, like if you packed a Lampard, right? I think Lampard is uh, below 87 rating, right? Like if you pack Frank Lampard, 87 rated with Power Shot Plus, you're probably going to put that in your team and at least try him out as a 300,000 coin card. That would be classified as a W from the SBC if it's around 175 to 200,000 coins for this Max 87 icon upgrade, right? So there's going to be a lot of people interested in this. And just like the Hero Pack last week, it's going to make some prices move, which is why I think if you... Are like Nate, I'm 100% doing this max 87 base icon and I have no fodder in my club right now. What I would tell you to do is go stock a couple of the 86s and the 87s. Again, I know that they're already up a lot. 86s are up a lot as well. They were 8K. Now they're at like 9.1 to 9.2. They could go a little bit higher if and when we get this icon pack potentially tomorrow. Will I think they go crazy high? No, I do not think they're going to go crazy high with how much we've seen the fodder go up already before the SBC has even come out, especially without knowing the actual requirements. It does make me a little bit leery. Um, so I will say that. I think the safest fodder at the moment is still 89s and above. 88s I'd put in that category as well. I could see a little bit of panic selling though if we get the SBC tomorrow and the fodder or the requirements for the SBC are like an 85 and an 86 or even two 86 squads. I would believe that 88s wouldn't go up that much, maybe a thousand coins, and you'd want to sell then for sure. Um, and then after that, they would probably drop down a little bit. But just a reminder, fodder's already up just a little bit for where it was because we had the hero pack last week, especially 85s and 86s. Like, remember, 85s were 3.5K before we got the hero pack. So if you need fodder because you're like, Nate, I'm going to do this SBC and I have nothing right now, and you're not going to get rival from like or, uh, fodder from Rivals Rewards, which is what I waited to get last week before doing the hero SBC, Maybe you go out and buy a little bit right now, but fodder is up so much. I feel like it's not going to go up enough now that you really need to invest to make coins. It's more of a, you're going to buy it so that you have some in the club to do the SBC. That's kind of the route you're looking at it now being this late. So yes, I guys, honestly, my opinion is I think this SBC will be dropped on Wednesday, but we need to wait and see what pack code is added. If there's not a pack code added by Wednesday before content, then I don't think we're getting the SBC, but we'll see. You never know, right? There's always some give or take with EA. There's always some variability there, and we'll see if they drop it. But it is that time of the year where we start to get an SBC like that, so we want to be prepared and look for that. And like I mentioned, selling gold players from your team, because a lot of people are going to have to sell cards to go and afford an icon pack like that to go and buy the fodder that they need to get that SBC done. So I do think fodder could go up a little bit, but I think it's already up so much, it's not going to absolutely explode like a lot of people would love it to. So you have to be careful about that with fodder and, of course, with the rest of the gold card market and just specials in general as people will sell cards to go and do that SBC. And that'll make prices drop probably like we saw last week into Division Rivals rewards. Prices starting to crash. Wednesday content dropping down to Rivals and then having a really nice rise on fodder and on meta cards with rewards. Now, that's enough talk about that. Let's talk about the Tuesday content today that we expect to be dropping. Now, of course, we know one thing's going to be happening today. We're going to be getting some new Rush 
objectives. Of course, we're getting the We Play Possession Flash Rush Mode, which is going to replace the Slow It Down Rush Mode, which I actually need to finish to try to finish off this objective here. I got to get three more games with an assist. Um, I was doing it yesterday on stream. It's, it's fun to do it with friends, and I was doing evos at the same time. Guys, I will tell you this much. If you're playing a decent amount of rush, like in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games, um, you don't have to worry too much about getting all of the rush point bonuses down the side, If you're especially if you're doing an evo. If you get one or two of those checked off, since these flash events have double rush point, kind of like double XP type of vibe, you're still getting like nine to 10,000 rush points every single game which is really really easy to accumulate for this total rush takeover objective like right now i'm at 90,000 rush points and i probably played rush for like an hour and a half uh, just just kicking it you know type of thing so i think you can really accumulate the rush points really quickly focus on the assist more so um 15 and 30 i gotta get i gotta get a lot more assists to be fair but with this new rush mode today we'll see if we get a new objective alongside that like we did with this one maybe some new player picks maybe some new packs to give us just a little bit of an incentive to play in the new rush mode. We play possession. Here, the only thing I have to say about this is I just don't make rush more unbearable. Whatever this we play possession flash rush event is going to require. I hope it's not unbearable. I don't know. I don't know. The assists are fine. There's still going to be assists involved in here, but... I don't know. We'll see what the requirement is. That'll be a big part of it. It could actually make some prices move if it's somewhat restricting, which I doubt it will be. Um, you never know. That could make some prices move on the market. That'll be something we'll watch for and react to according to the content drop today. Now, also, guys, for content on Tuesday, I'm not expecting a whole lot, right? Again, Mondays and Tuesdays are pretty quiet days, but we do have upgrade packs almost every single week on a Tuesday as well. Last week, we had the 83 times two, which was very expensive. If you guys remember, it required four or five, 85, uh, four rated players. I think it was five 84s. That was crazy, 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 crazy expensive just to do an 83 times two. But I would expect something like that is coming yet again today on this game, as well as our regular Team League upgrade pack that refreshes now every day. I think I failed to mention this. The Team League upgrade refreshes every single day. Day. It is untradeable, of course, uh, but that's a little bit of demand for 84 rateds and 85 rateds um, on the market, too, which is keeping their prices a little inflated. So I'd expect that upgrade pack SBC uh, or something new in that regard to come today and maybe an evolution as well, because EA did say that they're going to be releasing a themed evos along with the rush events and stuff that are going to be coming out. So we had a slow it down evolution. I would imagine we have a we play possession evolution today as well. We'll have to see what that brings, but looks like it'll be a little bit more exciting day today on Tuesday than it was yesterday on Monday. And of course, we'll be one day closer to a potential Icon Pack SBC. The other stuff to watch out for today would be a Team of the Week leak situation or maybe just leaks in general since we're getting into the middle part of the, the week. Maybe it is about that time where we'll start to see news and information about players in Team of the League tomorrow and also players in Total Rush Team 2. Not saying I'm liking leaks or looking forward to them. Just saying that's kind of how it ends up shaking out. So that's the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. And if you want to see my biggest pack pull of the year, check out the second channel. TFA TG got absolutely blessed again yesterday. We might be on the red list. We might be. Insane reward poll yesterday from foot champs rewards that link is right above here but i'll see you guys in the stream today more trades incoming more market watching to be had more objectives to be completed and who knows maybe some more good packs to be opened we'll see we'll test out the upgrade packs though just to see how they are and i'll see you guys in the stream today it's been made for the catch you there peace out